Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone, you have found yourselves in the right place. Welcome to the Ohio Association for College Admissions Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. Uh, a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use your Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your cameras and microphones are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of the many sessions that are happening today, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions as well. And this presentation is being recorded and will be made available within about a week at strivescan.com slash Ohio. And now I'd like to turn it to our first presenter. Excellent, we have Shawnee State University. Good evening, everybody. Just give me one second and I'll get my screen pulled up here. So my name is Kelsey Jenkins and I am the admissions associate for SSU. I primarily oversee the Cincinnati area. Um, and give me one second. If you're not familiar with uh, Shawnee State, we are in Portsmouth, Ohio. Um, we are a four-year public institution. And this slide really talks about uh, who we are as an institution. We are open access, meaning we do not uh, turn away students. We do accept all of our students, regardless of ACT or SAT score. We are test recommended for this year, meaning we highly recommend that if you've taken the ACT or SAT, that you go ahead and submit it for admission for scholarship purposes. But if not, I know the pandemic has made it hard to schedule uh, the ACT or SAT. We can offer a free placement test, so we can offer that remotely to get you admitted into SSU. You can find our application on the Common App or on our website, shawnee.edu, and we actually still have some scholarship money available. So if you are interested, go ahead and apply. As long as you apply by April 1st, you'll still be considered for any scholarships you're eligible for. As far as majors for Shawnee State, uh, we are ranked best in Midwest in plastics engineering technology, which focuses a lot on um, injection molding and 3D printing, health sciences. Um, we have great healthcare administration, but we are nationally ranked in video game design. So if you are interested in game design, Shawnee State is the place for you. We actually have two game design majors. One is a bachelor's in fine arts, which focuses on sound design and animation side of gaming. And one is a bachelor's in engineering, which focuses more on the coding and hard development, development of gaming. Both are very, very popular. And we actually have uh, the lowest tuition in the state of Ohio as far as four-year public universities go. This is a slide that I'll spend the most time on. It does kind of um, encompass all that we have to offer at Shawnee State. Shawnee State is a public school cost for a private school feel, meaning we are a small campus. We have about 3,400 total students, which makes our student to faculty ratio about 15 to one. So you benefit greatly from small class sizes. You'll get to know your professors, teammates, classmates very well, uh, but it is one of the lowest tuitions in the state. Um, so you, that's the public school part of it, very affordable education for a very personal relationship with your professors as well. We do have apartment style housing. So our housing on campus is one of our biggest assets. It's super close to campus and they are full apartments. They have full kitchens, cable, Wi-Fi, and they're already fully furnished. Uh, we have a super safe campus. We're actually circled by both our city police and our campus police. We have over 60 clubs and organizations on campus, um, fraternities, sororities, clubs based off of your interests, political affiliations, majors, diversity and inclusion. And we are in AIA Division I in athletics, meaning we can offer athletic scholarships. This Tuesday, we actually were crowned the NAIA Division um, cha National Champions in 
men's basketball. So we have been very excited on campus. Uh, we do offer study abroad opportunities. And if you are interested in athletics, I will leave my contact information at the end. You can just reach out to me and I can get you connected with our coaches. Here is our gaming lab. It's a very interactive space. This is both uh, the engineering students and the fine arts students working together. Our campus has just been completely renovated in engineering. We have a brand new gym with pool and rec center on campus. Our housing was just newly renovated as well. So scholarship deadline at, uh, sorry. Scholarship deadline, as I mentioned, we still have some available as long as you apply by April 1st. Um, and then we have our in-state and out-of-state tu tuition here. These are scholarships that we are offering just strictly merit-based based off your, your ACT and SAT score. But you can also find the scholarships that we are offering based off of our Accuplacer tests this year. Here we have our College Colors Day, which again focuses just on some of the groups and showcases some of the events and athletics that we have on campus. And again, um, my name is Kelsey Jenkins. My last uh, little point that I would like to make is that Shawnee State provides all of the resources that you need to be successful. So on campus, we do have academic advising. We offer free tutoring in all of our subjects. Uh, we have a math lab, a writing center, we have a mental health clinic on campus as far as, and a health clinic for our students to use. Uh, this Saturday, if you are able to make it to campus, we are having a spring preview, which will have lots of faculty and staff on campus. But we are also fully open for in-person campus visits and tours. So we can schedule those online at shawnee.edu and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. All right, we have our next presenter. Just to remind everyone, we have a lot of other presentations going on today. So you are in session uh, E4. So this will give you an idea of who you'll be hearing from today. All right, thank you. Go take it away, Emily. Hi, everybody. My name is Emily, and I am here for the University of Rio Grande and Rio Grande Community College. I will share my screen and get my presentation started. All right, so the University of Rio Grande and Rio Grande Community College is a very unique institution. We are actually two schools combined into one. We are both a four-year private university and a two-year state-funded community college. We are the only school in existence that operates the way we do. How this works for our students is we actually offer a four-year private university education, but the first two years, Ohio residents get to take advantage of the much, much lower cost of a state-funded community college. Uh, we have over 60 majors and programs. You can see them listed here. Uh, I'll say this a lot. If you would like any more information on any of our programs, we do have a wonderful website that you can uh, click and see even the program um, course requirements for all of our different majors and programs. Uh, we are very heavy in education and healthcare related fields, as you can see here. Um, one of our most competitive and highest quality programs is our diagnostic medical sonography program. We are one of just a few programs in the state that offers the bachelor's in sonography. And the um, deadline to apply for that is coming up next week. So if you're interested in applying into sonography, make sure you get that application in soon. Uh, submitting your undergrad application is very, very simple. We have a free application on our website. We are not on Common App, um, but our application is already free and very, very simple. To be accepted, the only thing we need is your high school transcript. Uh, we do not require any certain ACT score or GPA to be accepted under general admission. Now, some of those other programs do have some requirements, but under general admission, we do not. Um, we do not require the ACT. Uh, sometimes for scholarships, we do like to receive those, uh, but we are also implementing multiple measures for placement. So we don't even um, require those for placement anymore at either, and we don't administer a placement test. 
Uh, when it comes to living on campus, anyone that lives outside of a 50 mile radius of campus is required to live in the residence halls for two years. Um, when it comes to our total living plan, it is an all-inclusive price. We actually just lowered our total living plan cost um, this year, just a little over $1,000. And it includes everything you see here. It includes your meal plan, uh, your room, uh, your Wi-Fi, free laundry. Uh, so you don't have to save those coins to do your laundry, which is a huge benefit here. We actually just announced a few weeks ago that we are lowering our tuition. So you can see Ohio residents those first two years, uh, or if you're in an associate's degree, you pay that $4,000 a year, which is completely unheard of for a private university education. Um, that is before any financial aid is applied. So that is a great deal. And you can see our new tuition uh, lowered very, very significantly uh, for students coming in, even starting the summer, uh, but definitely this fall for um, the junior and senior year and the out-of-state students. Uh, for more information on th for financial aid uh, or any questions, you can contact our financial aid office. You can always contact me as well. Um, but again, I'm going to keep telling you to go to our website because that's the best uh, resource for you to find any information that you would need unless you contact one of us. When it comes to athletics, we are, uh, just like Shawnee was, we are an NAIA school. Um, we have lots of different sports teams. We are part of the River States Conference. And new for this coming fall is men's volleyball and men's and women's rugby. So all of these athletic programs uh, have coaches hired, uh, even the new ones. So if you're interested, please reach out to me or um, you, know, you can go on our website again and reach out to the coaches directly or we can get them in contact with you if you are interested in being an athlete in college. Um, you will notice that eSports is listed. There are scholarships available for all of these programs, including eSports. So if you're interested in being a scholarship college athlete, please let us know. We also have uh, three other campuses located uh, in our surrounding counties. So we have our main campus, which is located here in Rio Grande, Ohio. And we have three other branch campuses, one in Meigs County, Ohio, one in Jackson County, and one in Vinton County. We are offering on campus personalized visits for all of our students. So if you're interested in coming and checking us out uh, and getting a tour of campus, speaking to professors um, or some of our athletic programs, you can schedule those online. We offer uh, visits Monday through Friday. And if you're interested in a Saturday visit, you can always contact us as well. Uh, we're always available to do those at request. Uh, when it comes to um, virtual things, we can do virtual visits as well if you can't make it to campus. Uh, and we have um, some 360 tours available on our website as well. For more information, you can always contact uh, me directly. My contact information is listed here, as well as our director and um, my coworker, Brandon, who is also our athletic liaison, uh, or you can contact the whole admissions office by emailing admissions at rio.edu. Again, if you have questions, please feel free to reach out, uh, check out our website, and we would love to have you on campus soon. Thank you so much, Emily. All right, up next we have Caitlin. All right, hello. Thank you all so much for joining. My name is Caitlin and I am one of the admission counselors at Xavier University. So we are located in Cincinnati, Ohio, just about 10 minutes away from downtown Cincinnati. And something that you'll see on all of our marketing material and when you come um, for a visit and you're walking around campus is all for one. So we are a Jesuit Catholic school. And I think that Jesuit value really seeps in to students' time during their college experience. All of our students, regardless of their major, are required to take a set of core classes. So these are classes like math, science, English, foreign language, philosophy, and theology that teach our students not what to think, but how to think. So that when they're out in the world, they can ask themselves what solutions will bring about the most universal good and have the most positive impact on the people that they're serving. 
Additionally, community service is not a requirement for students during their time on campus, but last year our students completed over 80,000 hours of community service. So that is definitely something that we are very proud of. The Jesuits are really known for giving all of the people that they serve a very strong educational foundation and their commitment to service and social justice. So you'll get elements of both of those within your time on campus. When you move in, we will actually start all of our students with what we call Manresa, which is our first year orientation program. So when you pull up to your residence hall, you'll be greeted by upperclassmen in neon shirts who will unpack your car and bring everything up to your room. And that's the first way that we really like to welcome you to the Xavier family. Um, students will move in on a Thursday, but classes won't start until Monday. So on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, our students who do large group activities and small group activities that will just help them meet the people they're spending their next four years with. That way on Monday, when you have your very first day of classes, you know exactly how to get to all of your classes and you have a few new friends numbers. So you have someone to text. So you have someone to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner with. And I think your very first day of college, it's really nice to already have some familiar faces. So who really makes up the student body? We have a little less than 5,000 undergraduate students and about 2,000 graduate students. So that puts us at the smaller end of a medium-sized school. Essentially what that means is that your average class size is just gonna be right around 20 to 21 students. So your professors will know your name and you'll know the names of the students that are sitting next to you. The really cool thing is that 55% of our students actually come from outside the state of Ohio. So chances are you're gonna be sitting next to someone who comes from a different place than you do. The other thing that I always like to point out on this slide is that I did mention that we are a Jesuit and a Catholic school. And oftentimes students will ask, do I have to be Catholic to come to Xavier? And the answer is absolutely not. We want you regardless of what your faith background is. We believe that that diversity just makes our community stronger. So about 50% of our students do identify as Catholic, but the other 50% make up 18 different faith traditions. So regardless of what your background is, we want you at Xavier. So a little bit on the academic piece, we have 90 different majors and 60 minors. I personally think that the world puts a tremendous amount of pressure on 17 and 18 year olds to know exactly what they wanna do with the rest of their lives. We have about a third of our students come in as what we call exploratory, which is essentially our undecided program. So if you are not quite sure what you wanna do, you can definitely take a deep breath. We will help guide you to find what you really wanna be doing. Our most popular programs are our psychology and our nursing program, both of which you can take all the way to the doctoral level. Our pre-med program, which we call biomedical sciences, is also very popular. And this past year, we had a 92% acceptance rate into medical school, which is way double the national average. So we're super excited about that. Um, other popular majors include anything in the Williams College of Business, there are 11 different majors and minors within the College of Business. And then the last most popular major would be anything in education. So think early, middle, secondary, Montessori, or special education. We have all of those on campus, and we like to get students in a classroom on their very first year being on campus. This is just another picture of campus with some of the most popular majors, but you can find a list of all of our majors online. We are very committed to student success while they are here on campus. And so most students, wherever you go to school, you'll have an academic advisor and a financial aid advisor. But I think one of the things that makes Xavier unique is that all of our students have a success coach and a career coach. So your first and your second year, you'll work with your success coach, who truly is just gonna make sure that you are finding success on campus that you're building a strong foundation, that you're getting involved, that you're succeeding in your classes, that you're in a major that you are passionate about. If you ever needed anything, your first or your second year on campus, you could go and chat with your success coach and they would help you get plugged in around campus. 
All of our students also have a career coach that really works with them their junior and senior year. They host resume writing workshops, etiquette dinners, they'll tell you exactly what to wear to a job interview, and there are a tremendous amount of resources. So I encourage our students to visit that office early and often, as their job is to help all of our students have a job by the time they graduate. This is a picture of CentOS Pact. So we do have 18 Division I sports on campus. Um, we are most well known for our men's basketball team. And as a student, you do get free tickets to all Xavier home games, which is a big perk. I think another big perk of Xavier is that you get that small personalized feel in the classroom, but we have the benefits of being just about 10 minutes from a larger city. There's 15 hospitals within 15 miles of campus um, and just so many resources to help our students be successful. The last thing that I will say is that we are hosting on-campus tours. So if you wanted to come for a visit, we would absolutely love to have you. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Lynn. All right, up next we have Justin from Sinclair College. A reminder, everyone, you can use the Q&A button to ask any questions of our panelists today, and they can answer them directly in there as well. So just say, go ahead. All right. Thanks a lot. Uh, well, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Justin. I, a, I work in admissions at Sinclair Community College down in um, downtown Dayton. Uh, just some quick facts that I like to point out um, and some points of pride that we uh, pride ourselves on at our school. Uh, we really try and focus on affordability at Sinclair, which is why we offer more than $3 million in scholarships every single year. Um, our students to faculty ratio is only 19 to one. So um, our students have a lot of opportunities for hands-on learning and engaging with faculty and other students in the classroom. Uh, we have a 99% Sinclair graduate rating. Um, a lot of our students that have taken classes at our school and graduated um, have had really great experiences at our school. Uh, we offer nearly 300 different degree and certificate programs. Uh, we're actually considered to be the uh, longest continuously running community college in the United States, and we're ranked as one of the top community colleges in the U.S. as well. Uh, we also offer um, programs and classes at five different locations. So we have our main downtown Dayton location, but then we also have locations in Centerville, Inglewood, Huber Heights, and we also have one down in Mason for our students that are closer to the Cincinnati area. So of our 300 different degrees and certificate programs that we offer, they're located within four different academic divisions on campus. So this includes things like health sciences, which is more like our nursing, dental hygiene related programs. Uh, we have science, mathematics, and engineering. Uh, we have business and public services, and then our liberal arts, communication, and social sciences related fields. We have all different types of degrees and certif certificates for all different types of students. If you want to take classes and earn a certificate in as little as eight weeks or one semester and get a job after that, uh, we have those types of programs. We have certificates that you can complete in as little as one year, um, all the way up to associate degrees that are, that are two-year programs. And then we do even have two new, brand new bachelor's degrees in unmanned aerial systems and aviation technology. Uh, we also try and focus on transferability as well. Um, so a lot of the classes that you're taking and a lot of the programs, we have transfer agreements with schools throughout the state of Ohio so that you can uh, get your bachelor's degree if your end goal is to get a four-year degree. So as I had mentioned earlier, one of the things that we really pride ourselves on is affordability. For students that live in Montgomery County, uh, which is where our downtown Dayton campus is located, you're actually paying the lowest tuition rate of any student in the state of Ohio. Uh, even if you're not located in Montgomery, if you're just outside, you're still paying a very affordable tuition rate. So our costs are based on per credit hour, but if you plan on taking classes full, full time, you're going to pay about $3,700 to $3,800 for the entire year if you're located in Montgomery County, and about $5,200 for the entire year if you're located outside of Montgomery County. Transferability is something that we really try and focus on in our programs. So we have transfer agreements with uh, pretty much any college or university that you can think of in the state of Ohio. Two of the most popular ones are with Wright State University and the University of Dayton. And the reason why these are so popular is because you get access to a lot of the same uh, resources. Um, you get to meet with academic advisors, um, student support services. You can even join some of the student organizations on those campuses. Um, but you're paying Sinclair's tuition rates. You're saving a lot of money. 
um, but you're also helping yourself so that you're guaranteed to transfer to those schools. Um, you know, you're paying our rate those first two years. And one really unique thing with Wright State University's transfer program, it's called the Wright Path program, is that you can actually live on Wright State's campus, live in their dorms, get access to their meal plans, and then take college classes at our campus downtown Dayton. Uh, so you're paying our tuition rate, saving that money, but you're still getting that dorm room living experience um, if you are wanting to live on a college campus. So definitely connect with us as well. Um, I want to mention a few different ways that we are offering um, virtual sessions and on-campus tours. Uh, so we do um, evening information sessions. We also do one-on-one -on -one appointments throughout the week. We have virtual transfer 101 sessions with a lot of different colleges and universities throughout Ohio. We've done some out of state as well, like the University of Kentucky, some in Indiana, uh, where you can learn about the different transfer pathway programs we have with those schools. We're also going to start on-campus tours in the month of April. So in a couple of weeks, that'll be available. And you can register for all of those visits on our visit web website at sinclair.edu slash visit. So just some quick information on how to get started as a Sinclair student. The first thing that you would want to do is fill out an online application at apply.sinclair.edu. Uh, we're not connected to the Common App, so it's a separate application on our website. It's completely free, so you don't have to pay to apply to our school. Um, the next thing that we ask students to do is to complete the free application for federal student aid. And then from there, usually what we do is we help you determine course placement, which could involve like your high school transcripts or your ACT or SAT scores. And then we'll help you get connected with an academic advisor who can help you get registered for classes as well. Um, but for students to be accepted into our school, they just have to provide us with a high school diploma or GED scores uh, for, for that proof of graduation or that GED and they can get enrolled on our campus. And then lastly, I'll just leave you with um, our admissions contact information. This is our telephone number, our general email as well. Um, but if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to put those in the Q&A chat box and I'm happy to answer those. Thanks. All right, thank you, Justin. I think we have Jimmy up next. Hey, Jimmy. Hello. Go right ahead. Good evening, everybody. Give me one second here while I share my screen. Okay, my name is Jimmy Barnett. Uh, I'm the Director of Recruitment and Admissions at Southern State Community College. Um, Southern State Community College is, we are a small community college in Southwest Ohio. Um, we have three campus locations in Mount Orb, Hillsboro, and Washington Courthouse. Um, the one thing I can say about our college is, you know, we have three campuses, but we, we offer different programs at each of those campuses. So some of those programs may be offered across all campuses. Some may be specific to one campus. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind when choosing Southern State. Uh, we have about a 17 to 1 student teacher ratio, which equates to about 2,700 students across our three campuses. And we are also a big College Credit Plus provider here in the state of Ohio. So within that 2,700 students, you know, more than half of those come from our high schools and they're actually taking those classes at the high school. So very small campus, um, a lot of one-on-one -on -one interaction with your faculty. It's, it's great for building and maintaining relationships throughout your time at Southern State. Um, like the other institutions, uh, we offer tutoring, career and counseling services. These are all free. Um, tutoring, we have uh, online math labs, drop-in math labs, writing labs, and then also uh, online writing labs where you can submit materials and that they'll review them with you. Um, we have an awesome guy uh, that works with our students for career counseling and also does our mental health and personal counseling. Um, that is all confidential. He can help you with anything from a resume to talking about an issue that's going on at home. And again, that's free and confidential to you as a Southern State student. Uh, our programs are offered during the day, during the evening, they're offered online. And we also have an accelerated real estate program that can be done in one semester. This next slide is a picture of our campuses. Our Brown County campus, like I said, is in Mount Orb, Ohio. This is our newest campus. Uh, it broke ground in 2015. Um, this campus is right off of 32, not too far from Cincinnati. Uh, it is in Mount Orb. Uh, the Fayette campus is in Washington Courthouse. I'm at the intersection of US 35 and US 62. Um, and then our third campus is the Central Campus. We call that the Central Campus. It's in Hillsboro, Ohio. 
Um, this is where a lot of our support staff and student service president, uh, VPs, this is where all their offices are. Each campus does have a campus director and uh, academic advisors, as well as minimal support staff um, and library services. So you will be able to get everything you need at whatever campus, um, but the central campus plays home to departments such as admissions, financial aid, and records. Uh, but we are also available to come to any of these other campuses. On our central campus, we have the Edward K. Daniels Auditorium. Uh, we take pride in our theater program with Southern State. We have a concentration in theater. Um, students that come to Southern State may take a public speaking class or an acting class in the theater here. Um, we put on several productions throughout the year. COVID has kind of put a, a hold on that, but uh, the hope is that we can continue to get back to that here as things clear up and we, we get back to some normal uh, living situations. The Page Pit Center, um, prior to COVID, that was where our athletics were played for men's and women's basketball. Um, Post-COVID, at this time, we have indefinitely suspended athletics um, with the hope to possibly bring those back in the future. Um, but that is where students graduate at the end. So that's something that our students look forward to. This year, we're actually going to host a, a drive-in commencement on our central campus. We're really excited about that to actually give our students last year and this year a chance to be recognized um, by their family and friends. So a little bit about our application process. It is free to apply. We have an online application um, for first time transfer or returning students. Um, we, like I said, we're also a College Credit Plus provider. Um, we're an open enrollment institution. So that, you know, there, there's kind of like that rolling deadline. Um, if you graduate in May from high school and then you decide that, you know, come June, you wanna go to college, Southern State might be that option for you. Our, our admissions process is very simple. Um, you would need to submit a high school transcript. You would need to apply online, submit that transcript, and then submit any ACT or SAT scores. They're not required. Um, we offer a free placement test that uh, can take place of the ACT or SAT, the placement test. Um, we offer the AccuPlacer. And basically the AccuPlacer, we, we like to tell students it's not pass or fail. It is just a way for our academic advising team uh, to kind of take a look and see where you stand as far as placement and math or English as far as college level math or English. And if you're not ready for college level math or English, we're going to put you in courses that help get you there. So that's important that our students understand that it's free. It's not pass or fail. It's a no pressure situation. Um, you know, we will help you. You can take that remotely. You can take it on campus. Uh, it's entirely up to you, but that process can all be scheduled online on our website. So this is a tuition comparison. Um, Southern State is a two-year community college, uh, very affordable here in the state of Ohio. Uh, we are about $4,832 a year. Uh, that, that does not include, uh, you know, books and fees. So we, we tell students to, you know, account for about $2,000 to $2,500 in books and fees. Um, and you would be looking at roughly, you know, $6,500 to $7,000 a year to come to Southern State. Uh, which is very affordable. You can get a two-year associate's degree from Southern State for about what a um, one year at a public institution if you lived on campus and had all the fees would cost. Um, a public four-year in Ohio ranges anywhere from 16 to 30,000. Uh, so we like to really think Southern State is affordable. And I, you've heard this word a lot tonight, but transferability. Uh, that's a big thing with us. Uh, you know, we offer several programs as you can see on the screen now. And the, the goal of a lot of our students is to come into Southern State with the full intention of getting that associate's degree and transferring on to a four-year institution. Our Associate of Arts and Science programs are the two major programs students take if they want to transfer, and we don't offer what, they, what they're looking for. So a student may come to us and, you know, want to be a math teacher. Well, they may do the Associate of Science with a concentration of mathematics. Um, we offer several concentrations, as you can see there. Um, we offer Associate of Applied Business programs and accounting, business management, and then we also have a focus with business management and the real estate broker, which allows you to become a real estate agent. And then you see our Associate of Applied Science programs um, in engineering, computer science, uh, human and social services, law enforcement, um, and then our most popular program is our nursing program. Um, I will say all health science programs are separate admissions, so keep that in mind. These are some certificates we offer. Um, aviation and Aviation General and Airframe are two of the most popular. We have on-site bachelor's programs that you can take after you finish with us. And we also offer some scholarships. If you are a student seeking 
out scholarships. Be sure to apply quickly as the deadline is March 31st. Here's my contact information. Feel free to reach out at jbarnett11 at sscc.edu. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. All right, up next we have Aaron from University of Dayton. Thank you so much. Thank you for all of, all of you for attending tonight and your attention. I know I'm the last one. I'll try to um, give you uh, concise information in a, in a good amount of time. Um, my name is Erin Sarush. I'm a regional enrollment manager at the University of Dayton. We are located here Catholic Research University that's committed to a diverse, inclusive environment. So we're committed to educating a student as a whole person. This means we empower students to learn, lead, and serve so our graduates can lead fulfilling lives and make a difference in the world. We are a mid-sized university, so we do have about 8,000 undergraduates on our campus. Our total population is right around 11,000 with our graduate students. So truly a mid-sized school right in that sweet spot of the mid size schools. Um, average class size is about 27 with a 14 to 1 student teacher ratio. We do have about 40 states represented on campus as well as 60 countries with just over 50% of our campus coming from out of state. So a very geographically diverse campus. You're going to meet people really from all over the world. Um, and about 20% of the student body reports to be multicultural. 10% of those are of that number is inter our international students. Um, so pretty diverse, um, a number that we continue to work on and strive for. Um, as I mentioned, a top tier uh, Catholic research university, we like to think that um, we have resources and facilities of a large school, but the feel and community and commitment to the student of a smaller institution. So um, really strong facilities, beautiful lab spaces. Um, we have two Fortune 500 research facilities with General Electric and Ericsson on our campus. Um, top 10% in teacher education. So really a lot of great of opportunities for our students um, on, right on our campus, not having to leave campus to do any of those things. Um, we do offer about 80 major programs in four schools. You can see those listed there. All direct admit programs, most well known for engineering, business, and the health sciences. Uh, we have recently added a nursing program, which is in, actually in partnership with Sinclair Community College. Um, a really exciting program that we're really proud of, highly competitive. Um, so please apply by November 1st. There's really no exceptions to that uh, date. So we hope you come to the University of Dayton and it becomes your home. 85% of our student body is living on campus. So we are a very residential community and they're living in a very unique um, living environment in our student neighborhoods. So as uh, third and fourth year students, you'll have the opportunity to live in one of the houses right on campus and be part of that community. It's a really great, fun way to um, end your four years of school. Um, so there's certainly a lot of focus on academics in college, but we also have um, a lot of extracurricular opportunities um, and fun to be had as well. Students at the University of Dayton have a great time. Uh, we do have nearly 300 clubs and organiza organizations, excuse me, um, academic clubs, service clubs, social clubs, um, an abundance of things to get involved with. Um, we offer 17 Division I varsity sports, just over 30 club sports, which are competitive. So they do compete against other schools, club teams, as well as a huge intramurals program. So um, like on most college campuses, intramurals are hugely popular and a really fun way to get involved and stay active. Uh, we offer Greek life as well. About 20% of the student bodies involved in Greek life. Not the only way to connect socially, but certainly a great way to do so if it's something you're interested in. I like to think of it as really just one piece of that extracurricular puzzle. So as you can see, plenty of things to do, um, a strong commitment to community, um, community service, social justice activities through campus ministry, as well as through our multi-ethnic um, education and engagement center on campus. Um, we're really proud of some of these numbers here. Um, our 82% graduation rate is very strong compared to public universities. Um, and then this number, the 97% success rate is actually from 2019. I think what I'm most proud of is the 2020 number given the year that 2020 was. Our success rate in 2020 was 93%. So within six months of graduation, 93% of our graduates were employed full-time, 
doing a year of service or in graduate school. And with the challenges that we all face in 2020, particularly our college graduates, um, I think the fact that 92% of our graduates were out doing wonderful things in the world um, is just says so much. So we're really, really proud of that number. Dayton's really unique in that we have a pretty unique tuition plan. We do freeze your net tuition over four years. So while you're a student at the University of Dayton, you will not see a tuition increase. Your merit scholarship will uh, increase each year to meet any tuition increase that we have. So consider that merit scholarship that you're automatically considered for as an investment in your four years at the University of Dayton. If you engage with us in some capacity, uh, do a virtual visit, a campus visit, um, by registering for this event, you check a box, and then completing the FAFSA in your senior year, you'll get a textbook scholarship worth $4,000. Um, so that is $500 a semester for textbooks. We have no fees. So you never see a graduation fee, an orientation fee, a lab fee. All those fees can really add up over four years time. Um, these are just some general numbers I will mention that are dates and um, things to be aware of. We are test optional moving forward. So um, no student is required to send test scores regardless of what they're applying to. Um, so, you know, if you feel like those test scores don't enhance your application, you are absolutely not required to send them. It will have no negative impact on you. Um, and I will also mention that right now, um, we're only offering in-person visits to admitted seniors. Um, just with the COVID restrictions, we're um, trying to get those students through as they get close to having to make that final choice on May 1st. So, um, juniors, we have plenty of virtual options for you including a, a virtual junior preview night on April 22nd. You can register for that on our website. And then this summer, we're really hopeful that we'll be able to get um, everyone back on campus um, to visit and see our beautiful campus. Um, we're really thankful and grateful. Our students have been in person all year for learning. So we're trying our best to keep them safe as well as our visitors safe um, in these very sort of strange times that we're all living in. So we encourage you to reach out to us um, at any time should you have questions at admission at udayton.edu. Um, and we hope to see you uh, soon. Thank you. All right, I invite all our panelists to turn on their cameras for a brief moment. Uh, we'll have couple of questions to go around for the group and we'll start at the top again with Shawnee State University and the question for you all is what is your favorite event or tradition on campus all right so we'll start with Shawnee and then we'll go around and you'll each have a moment to talk thanks everyone so normally I would say our weekend of welcome, which is this huge weekend long event right before the Monday before classes start where students come on campus and uh, there's like tours to their individual classes so they know what they're going, but there's also a bonfire and a great way to get connected with students, meet people and kind of shake the nerves and get lots of free food and free t-shirts before class starts on Monday. Um, but we did have a huge welcome back for our, um, men's basketball championship yesterday where the whole town got involved. So Portsmouth is a very tight knit community as well as SSU. So we hope to see you on campus soon. My favorite tradition is our annual Bob Evans Farm Festival. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we are actually located on the original Bob Evans Farm. And every year in October, we have the Bob Evans Farm Festival and the Saturday night of that farm festival, we actually have um, usually a double header, sometimes a triple header uh, soccer game. And at the conclusion of the last uh, soccer game, we shoot off what's called Rockets Over Rio, which is just a fantastic fireworks show. The entire community and school is involved. Uh, a lot of alumni come back. So it's just a wonderful way to connect with everybody, see a lot of alumni that come back um, and uh, have fun down on the farm. I think that my favorite bigger tradition would be um, going to the men's basketball games and our student section doesn't sit down until Xavier scores the first point. So there's so much energy and a lot of excitement and Syntax is right on campus so students can walk there right from their residence hall and then we have alumni and um, just a lot of people from Cincinnati come so definitely a lot of fun to attend as a student. 
I would have to say our graduation, um, only because as a staff member, you are expected to attend graduation. And the previous institution I worked at, it was kind of just like faculty and instructors that went there. Um, but our graduation, we really focus on bringing the entire community together to celebrate our students. And it's just a really great time to kind of cheer them on and congratulate them if they are graduating and going on to work or if they're graduating and moving on to a four year school to get to their bachelor's degree. So it's a little bit different than what I had experienced before, but um, it's a really great event. I would say for Southern State, uh, probably our Connect to College and Career event we have for graduating seniors in our five county service region. Um, we also have our current students that are there with instructors, faculty, staff. Um, they really get to know our programs, our staff, and they get to learn about everything and possibly make the decision to come to Southern State. And ours is a, a, mine would be our Christmas on campus event, which happens um, the first week of December, the Friday before our, uh, finals start. Unfortunately, we didn't do it last year, of course, but um, uh, Dayton Public School students are bused to campus and sort of paired up with a Dayton student, and they do all kinds of fun Christmas events on campus, and the campus is beautifully decorated. And then at the end of the day, the students go home. Uh, the, public school students go home and then there's all kinds of activities for the Dayton students to uh, get festive and ready for the holidays. It's a great sort of relaxing day before finals start. Excellent. Well, thank you everyone. Thank you all for joining us today. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey and we'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this is just one of the sessions we're hosting today, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. And in about a week, we'll uh, be making this, this session available uh, via recording on strivescan.com slash Ohio. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to all our panelists. Great job, and have a good evening. Take care, everyone.